Alrighty then, next we got Drake. Take care, as they would say in the South. Take care, but now this is Take Care. 2011. This is kind of seen as Drake's best album. Do y'all agree? I think so. It's definitely better than his recent thing. It's getting slated online. But yeah, this is a cool album cover, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Um, nothing, I mean, nothing creative about it. He's at a table. There's a candle and there's just Drake. But yeah, it's a cool album cover. I like the artwork and the color, the color scheme. Next, we got the Slim Shady LP in 2009 by Eminem. You know, Eminem used to always talk about killing his wife in particular. So he's got, he's at that, what, the, what would you call this? The, the, the harbor or something like that? Some sort of place where there's water. And there's like feet sticking out of a, a car boot. Or you guys in America will call it a trunk. Next we got Eric B and the legendary Rakim. Paid in full 1987. Boy. Taking it back. Even Rakim's got hair back then. But yeah that's a cool album cover. This is probably most, one of the most iconic album covers in hip hop history. You got the dollar bills at the back. In the background. And you got. Eric B, Rakim holding the money, look at their chains, gold watches, bracelets, and obviously they're paid in full in red. I don't know what's up with the outfits though, to be fair, I don't know, maybe that's an 80s thing. But yeah, this is a dope, dope, classic album cover. Next we got the Fuji's Fuji La 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 with the score in 1996. Classic album, classic, I love the way it's all black in the background. And then you also got the three members there looking in different directions, different angles of their faces. I'll probably say this is an iconic cover. Not that there's anything creative about it, but it's just iconic. Everyone loved this album. Next, we got Gangsta with Daily Operation. Very underrated rap group, in my opinion. And Guru is a very underrated rapper. But I like the artwork here. You got DJ Premier in the background doing this thing. I like the political aspect about it with Malcolm X in the back. The other ornaments in the back, the skull head, the globe, and what looks like a, a black warthog, warthog or something like that. That one's a bit spooky. But yeah, and then Guru just repping like that hip hop look with the chain and the hat and all that. Cool. We got Gucci Mane coming in next, y'all. Everybody looking in 2016. You know what? I'm not even familiar with this album cover. But this is this is recent Gucci. This isn't the Gucci drinking lean and overweight. Got his back is all ripped up. That's probably why why he wants to do this. Like show off his muscles and all that. We see you Gucci, staying in shape. Well done to you. But this is kind of cool. I don't know what it means. Are we supposed to see faces in that coloured painting over there on the wall? It's kind of interesting. Next we got Jay Z, the Blueprint, two thousand and one. Very creative. I like this one. I like the Jay Z's kind of looking like the boss with the cigar sitting on the table. You got all the ornaments on the table, the mic and all that. And then you got all his little looks like his gangster soldiers standing in line there, waiting for his to command. And obviously the the the, the album is bluish, blueprint. Get me. Next we got Juvenile, 400 degrees, 1998. Juvenile was never really the biggest juvenile fan to be fair but yeah i remember cash money back in the days to do these kind of album covers probably was the same designer because they all look quite similar they're all kind of crazy really it's a cool it's a cool album cover it's very creative I definitely noticed this next we got kanye west graduation in 2007 this is definitely cool you could tell a lot of work's gone into this kanye always liked using this teddy bear thing I think it's a college sort of, I mean, you lot in America will know better than me. It looks like a college theme because he had it in the first album, the second album, and the third. But I like, I like the animated aspect of the, of the artwork and everybody's throwing their graduation hats in the air. Man, I just noticing that now, you know. I didn't even notice it when it came out back in the day. But that's cool. I like the creative aspect of that. Next we got Kanye West Yeezus in 2013. And don't forget this is not in an order. It's not like a countdown. 
but this is not a creative album i mean it's cool in a sense because it looks like a cd but come on man anything's got to be more creative than this i like this next one kendrick lamar my morale and the big steppers his last album he put out so as kendrick has a bit of a grown man now not sure about the jesus thing on his head but um i like the simplicity of it this is my sort of type of album cover because it's just very simplistic it's not of all these graphics and stuff i mean the album wasn't great let's keep it funky and he's disappeared since then but yeah kendrick is kendrick next we got lil wayne the classic album with a carter three in 2008 i like this one it's similar to like the biggie nas one where he's like as a baby put it on the album cover i actually thought i don't know this this is really lil wayne as a baby obviously the tattoos are put on by technology but it looks just like wayne but just a baby version like i gotta do my research i like the way they put the tattoos on the baby thing is that's pretty cool in a big suit and a like a don ring on his pinky finger that's cool then we got LL Cool J coming in next with Bad. This was in 1987 when there was no color TV. Only joking. Of course there was. But yeah, um, this is a cool album cover. I like, I've seen it before. I've never really studied it before. But yeah, he's like looking all street with the colors, the red and the black. Trainers are kind of interesting. And then he's on like some gates. I just realized he's standing on a car too. You can tell I'm not from the 80s. All right, next we got Ludacris. Yo, Ludacris, underrated MC, underrated artist. This album, Word of Mouth in 2001. This just epitomizes Ludacris' career. Look at the, look at the graphics on Ludacris. Look at the dog. It's comedic, it's wild, it's loud. And the money in his hand it's just typical ludicrous everything is just extra and even where they wrote word of mouth just typical ludo crazy next we got lupe fiasco food and liquor this is a rapper that i never really fully got into you know um i didn't even really realize when he retired from hip-hop he had that good start to his career with that kick push song but this is cool i mean i like you know he's in this he's in space with like a stereo and laptop and all these type of gadgets around him doesn't really make sense to me with the food and liquor bit with the album cover but hey it's all right next we got mac miller r.i.p mac miller he was one of my favorite rappers of that new bunch of rappers in that era but the album was called faces in 2014 it's an interesting piece of art not knowing exactly what it means i'm not gonna lie but um yeah that's a cool one let me know in the comments if you know what this means. You probably know it if you're a Mac Miller fan. I can't quite gauge what that's about. There's like a table. Yeah, I'm not going to try and pretend. I'm not going to try and guess either. We got Missy Elliott next, Super Duper Fly in 1997. In the same vein as Ludacris, Missy's videos and album covers, well, particularly the music videos, were always quite creative. This one isn't the most creative, I wouldn't say, I would say, but I like the font of the super duper fly bit very simplistic but i like the color scheme of the cover next we got nipsey hustle victory lap in 2018 this is his classic album that everybody basically goes on about it's a cool album cover as well next we got nwa now this album cover is classic this is iconic i can't even call it just classic this is iconic straight out of compton in 1989 where there were no color TV. Okay, I'm joking. Okay, uh, yeah, this album is cool. You know, you got all the members of NWA there. You got Dre, you got Ren, Yella, Easy, Cube. There's a story behind the other guy who's there. He was another original member. Why he's not rapping on stuff on it, I don't. I can't really remember. If you know, get in the comments. Let me know. Remind me, because I've forgotten it in my old age. Next we got Outkast, Aquamini in 1998. Yo, this is an album cover that I would say is very creative. Very different. Looks like something from the 60s and 70s. Gangster sort of suits and the hats. and Just the whole color scheme is really cool. And the font of the actual album. 
title as well. I don't know what about the two ladies in the afro behind the chair doing. They look like they're scheming. <laughs>